Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. Over here. After checking out the arcade station in the mall I used to go to and realizing that all my favorite arcades are gone, well, more like the arcade is close to shutting down, I really want to take a look back at the best arcade shooters I grew up loving as well as the newer ones that stepped it up. So for today, I will show you the top 10 best light gun arcade games I love the most. So sit back, grab a beer with some chips, and let's begin. Number 10, Area 51. Area 51 is a classic arcade game that is best recommended for those new to light gun arcade games. Reason why is because it's plain and simple. You see an alien, you shoot it. You see a human, you don't shoot him. And to make it easier, it only takes one hit to kill the aliens. The game might seem a bit too easy, but they do put in quite a lot of secrets to get the player coming back for more. Also, one of the best things about this game is that most arcades see this as a classic, so chances are it'll only take about a quarter or two to play the game. The graphics are neat and realistic, the music and sound effects are great, and the game overall is fun and entertaining. Number 9. Target Terror This game is awesome because you take down thugs and robbers who appear to be in realistic animation better than Area 51. The enemies can be taken down with one hit, but you can also fire multiple times and the targets will react to each shot taken. That's amazing because if you shoot them in the arm, they'll react towards the spot the bullet penetrated. You can pick up additional weapons like a shotgun, a machine gun, a freeze gun, I mean, it gets creative with the ways you take down enemies. The game has some creative locations to choose from and they each last a fair amount of time to beat. You will enjoy this game and the best news I've heard so far is that Target Terror 2 is in development. Number 8, Dark Escape 4D. Dark Escape 4D is a very tough game to find. The best location I can say you will surely find this game is at your nearest Dave & Buster's. But other than that, the game is badass. It feels like you're getting in a spooky ride because the arcade machine is not your ordinary arcade machine. It is like the size of an elevator and like an elevator you can't see through it. But if you're next in line to play the game, all you can do is hear the screams of the players and a crazy set of speakers giving the game surround sound and making the experience more intense. But that's not all. You get to wear 3D glasses, the seats rumble, air shoots out from above you, and there's a panic sensor that lets you know at the end of the level how much you and your friend panic. You don't use a light gun, instead it's like a gun turret, which I think it would have been a better experience with the light gun, but still it's a great experience. Like I said, the game is hard to find, but when you do see one, make sure to bring plenty of cash, because this game ain't cheap to play. Number 7, Terminator Salvation. Terminator Salvation is a experience we were expecting from the movie, but even though the movie disappointed, the game, the arcade game, made sure to give us what we wanted. The game graphics are similar to Xbox 360's graphics. The gameplay is fast paced and a lot of fun. There are so many terminators and different type of machines trying to kill you, but you and your partners aren't the only ones handling the machines. You're in the middle of a war zone, so you've got to make sure not to cause friendly fires or you will be punished for it. I have never made it towards the end, but the game is such a roller coaster of an adventure from the beginning that it won't matter that you start all over. Number 6. The Lost World. Here is another game that gives us what we wanted from the movie. And once again, we received a better experience from the arcade game. Unlike most arcade games, here you are given two seats so you don't have to worry about standing up throughout the game. And simply chill while you shoot down hordes of dinosaurs. The game is a lot of fun from beginning to end and every level is remarkable. You are given all types of dinosaurs to take down, even a type of T-Rex that blends in with its environment like a chameleon. That one was a challenge to take down. I like how you are given a chance to rescue your partner when a dinosaur is attacking him, 
If you succeed, you get rewarded. If you don't, your partner will receive damage. I can confidently say that this is the best Jurassic Park game ever. Number 5. Time Crisis Series I'm sure that most of you have played one of the Time Crisis games in an arcade. There are so many Time Crisis games out there, even spin-offs based on the same series, which they all appear to be very good, so I couldn't choose only one out of them all. I think they're all equally great, even the original Time Crisis. I mean, it did start it off. This is the best option for those who simply want to play a light gun game with or without a partner. You have a step platform next to your feet that allows the player to duck and cover. This also lets you reload. I felt this was a great addition to an arcade shooter because many times there are so many objects aimed at me that I know I won't be able to shoot them all down. And it would have been great to be able to dodge them. So this game series gave us this feature to allow us to play longer. But wait a minute. You can't stay in cover for too long, as you do have a time limit, so you can't just take your sweet ass time with each level. The games all have great boss fights at the end of each level, and that is one thing I'm always looking forward to. The games are amazing and I highly recommend you to try them out. Number 4. Terminator 2 The Arcade Game I loved this game growing up. It was like the official war that we wanted to see in the Terminator franchise, but since we never got a good movie based on it, this was the best thing to look forward to. I remember always looking forward to going to the county fair in the town next to mine because every year they brought in about 20 arcades, and this was one of them. You only needed a quarter to play the game, so both me and my friend were always able to play it. I always liked the designs of the light gun. It was more of a heavy gun because it wasn't connected to a cord, it was connected to the machine itself. Sure, the arcade game of Terminator Salvation has a lot more to offer, but this game offered plenty back in the day, and it was enough to keep us coming back for more. Number 3. Carnival. Remember how I said that I always looked forward to the county fair to play Terminator 2 the arcade game? Well, this was another game the county fair would bring in, and it was a really scary arcade game. This was the first arcade game I would love to watch others play because I was too scared to play it for myself. But as soon as I finally got the courage to play it for myself, I fucking loved it. It is a game about a carnival that rises from a cemetery and has so many creative enemies to kill. The graphics are similar to Nintendo 64 graphics and I'm sure you're thinking it's not scary anymore but honestly, I think the graphics are what make the characters look scary. The theater near me has a new arcade shooter about evil clowns with today's graphics, but it doesn't scare me at all. In fact, it sucks. But here you have plenty of scares to go through, and the levels are all very creative. Another thing I like about the game is that the main theme song is actually a song by Rob Zombie called Super Beast. Also, the ending to the game? Priceless. Number 2. Aliens Extermination I'm a big fan of the Alien Xenomorph series, so I've always been looking forward to a good Aliens game. Now, this here is the perfect Aliens game to play. You get to play as a Colonial Marine with a partner and you take down all sorts of Xenomorphs. The graphics are really good and the sound effects are the same as the sound effects that each weapon made in the movie Aliens. This is a very fast paced game, so there are no breaks you can take until you beat a level. The game is very difficult but nonetheless entertaining. I found this to be difficult to find as well, but if you ever do find it, make sure you don't forget to bring a lot of cash because once again it's not cheap. Number 1. The House of the Dead 2 I wanted to include the first House of the Dead game, but if I could only choose one, I would have to say House of the Dead 2 is slightly better. Now, I'm sure most of you have played the House of the Dead games and surely you're saying that it's good but it shouldn't belong on number one. But honestly, I couldn't place it in any different spot. This game series was the first to introduce us to taking down third dimensional zombies with a light gun. The series may have taken a completely different direction now, but back then, it worked. It was an intense experience for me as a kid, and every character, every level, every different boss fight, it was all scary. Most zombies in every zombie game attack you by either slapping you or taking a bite off of you. 
but these ones carried weapons like axes, chainsaws, barrels, knives, and a lot more. The graphics are good for its time, the gameplay is great, the music really helps improve the tone of the game, and overall, it's the perfect game for a light gun arcade shooter. That's it for the top 10 list. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, put a thumbs up. And if there are any other videos you would love to request, please let me know in the comments. Also, post up any comments, funny ones or whatever ones you can think of. I put the best comments up in my videos whenever I see some really good ones. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll be sure to let you know when I post up more videos. This is Score saying, have an awesome day.